Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do this very cool looking stitch. Um, I had a difficult time trying to figure out a name for this and to me it kind of looks like little trees like this part is like the bark of the tree and then this is the bigger tree or maybe a hand fan. I don't know. You can find what you can in it but just so that you guys can find it I called it the Lacy Trees Stitch Pattern. Uh, this was found on a graph that I will have the link in the description box below if you want to follow along with the graph as I do this. The multiples of this stitch is 11 plus 9. And what that means is that you'll be doing in chains of 11, 11, 11 till you get the width that you want and then just chain 9 more and you're ready to start. Um, you can use any size yarn and the appropriate hook for that yarn. I used worst weight yarn which is 5 ply, uh, I'm sorry, 4 ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia and a 5 millimeter hook which is an H, size H hook in the US. And again, if you're interested in getting one of these hooks, they're called furls hooks and if you go to the link to this pattern below the video to the right, you'll see a picture of these hooks and if you click on the picture, you'll be taken to a place where you can get these hooks. If you have carpal tunnel or something like that where you have difficulty uh, holding on to thinner hooks and also the weight, this is so light that that's the main reason why I use it. Uh, if you're going to order one, tell them that you want an extended hook handle because it, it'll uh, be too, too short, it'll be like here and you won't be able to do clusters and stuff with it so make sure that you order it with the extended hook. So that's it, grab your hook, grab your yarn and we'll get started. Now I went ahead and I chained loosely. Uh, if you have a difficult time doing that, uh, you crochet fast like I do, I go ahead and I use one size hook bigger than the one I'm going to be using for my project. So I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter hook. So I went ahead and grabbed a 6 millimeter hook just to make the beginning chain. So I'm going to move that 6 millimeter hook away, put my 5 millimeter hook in there. Okay. So for row one, we're going to start off by doing a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So can I count one, two, three, four? And in this fourth chain, we're going to put a double crochet. Then we're going to put another double crochet in that same stitch. Now you want to count over four chains, one, two, three, four, and then this next chain, so you're going to be skipping four chains. So in the fifth chain, you want to do three double crochets worked, all worked in the same chain here. So there's one, two, and three. Now you want to skip two chains, one, two, and then the next you'll want to put a single crochet but before we do that we want to do a chain of three so one, two, and three then skip two, one, two, and then this third put a single crochet then again you'll chain three skip two, one, two, and then this third stitch you want to put three double crochets all worked in that same stitch same chain. Then you're going to skip four, one, two, three, four, and in this fifth chain you're going to put three double crochets all worked in that same chain. Then you keep repeating that pattern over and over again. So once you've got your two sets of double crochets, um, <laughs> your two sets of three double crochets here, you'll want to chain three, skip two, then single crochet in the next, then chain three again, skip two, then put three double crochets in the next chain. Then you'll skip four, one, two, three, four, and if you've done it right, when you get to the end, this fifth chain will be where you'll put your final three double crochets. 
So you'll repeat that pattern all the way down and you should be ending with your last set being the three double crochets. So for row two, you want to chain three, one, two, and three and turn. And in the very first double crochet of the row, we're going to be putting two double crochets in that first stitch of the row. One, and two. Then we're going to skip on over to the last double crochet. So we're going to skip this, these two double crochets and these two double crochets and find this last double crochet and we'll put our three double crochets in there. All worked in the same stitch. And then again you're going to chain three and put your single crochet in your single crochet and then chain three again and then repeat the pattern again by doing three double crochets in this first double crochet it's two and three and then you'll want to skip over these two and these two and find your last double crochet here to put your next set of three double crochets and then again you'll be doing your your chain three single crochet in the single crochet chain three and then again three double crochets in this first and three double crochets in the last and it should end the row the same way uh, putting in the chain here, in the top of the chain three here, you'll put three double crochets there to end your row. That's the end of row two and you can see that's what it's supposed to look like. So we're ready for row three. You begin row three by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then turn. Now you want to find this big old space here that's between your two sets of three double crochets and just go into that big old space and do a single crochet. Then you'll chain three. You'll find this last double crochet and put your three double crochets in it. We're kind of doing the reverse of what we did on the other two rows but we'll be using the same stitches. So next you're going to want to skip past this whole chain three, single crochet, chain three and find the first double crochet here and put your three double crochets in that stitch. So we're going to be working with the double crochets that are on either side of this chain. So you'll put three here and then in the first one here you'll put three. And this looks kind of a uh, wide, so I'm going to fix that. So once you've gotten your set of three double crochets, chain three. Then again, find that space in between your two sets of double crochets from the previous row and put a single crochet in that big old space then chain three and you'll repeat the pattern again. You'll put three double crochets in this last double crochet and three double crochets in this first double crochet right after your chain threes. So continue that down your row and I'll show you how to end your row. Okay, when you get to the end of your row and you've done your chain three single crochet in this big old space and chain three, now you have your, your two double crochets in your beginning chain here in this beginning or this ending chain three here you want to do a a double crochet in the top of your chain three so find the top of the chain three there and put one double crochet and that's one two three so that's the end of row three and that's what it looks like you can see the top of the trees here start to begin and then there's the trunk what I call the trunk and your first set of trees start here so for row four, 
Again, you're going to start by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and turn. And you're going to skip on over and just do one single crochet in your single crochet. Then do your chain three. And again, now we're going to be working kind of like what we did in the previous one. We're going to be putting a double crochet in this very first double crochet, then skipping the next two double crochets, next four actually, and doing a doing three double crochets in your last. So you'll be working with your first double crochet and your last double crochet. And you'll be putting three double crochets in each of those stitches. So I'm putting uh, hair three double crochets in that first double crochet. I'm skipping over one, two, three, four, and then this fifth, which is my last double crochet, I'm going to put three double crochets in that stitch as well. And then you want to do a chain of three and put a single crochet in your single crochet and then chain three again and you'll start by putting your three double crochets here and three double crochets here in the first and last double crochet. You'll continue that, that down your row and I'll show you how to end your row. Okay, when you've done your last three chain and your single crochet and your chain three again here, you'll find this very last chain six and you want to do it in, you want to put a double crochet in the first chain three. So you'll count from the bottom one, two, three and then this one here you'll put your double crochet or you can count backwards and do it in the fourth if you want to count from where you did your single crochet you can go one, two, three and fourth. You can do it in the fourth. And you'll put a double crochet in that chain. And that will end your one, two, three, four. That's your row four. So that will end row four. So for row five, and this will be your last row, this right here is the whole repeat, but because you do your first row in just chains alone, I want to show you the next row so that you know exactly what stitches that you need to put your stitches in. So for row five, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and turn. You'll put two double crochets in your very first stitch this very first double crochet here. You'll put two double crochets in that first double crochet. Then you'll move on over, you'll skip your chain three, your single crochet and your chain three, find this very first double crochet and you'll put three double crochets in that stitch. Then you'll chain three, one, two, and three. And again, you'll find this big space here and you'll do a single crochet in that big space. Then chain three again. And you'll find this very last single crochet, I mean, very last double crochet here. Then you'll skip on over and you'll find the first double crochet here, just like we did in the previous. So you'll be working with the double crochet before this chain three and single crochet and the one just after it. And you'll be putting three double crochets here, three double crochets here. So that's one, two, sorry for the noise outside. I live near a busy street. So I'm skipping over my chain three, my chain threes here and I'm putting three double crochets in this first double crochet. Once you have that done, again, you'll be chaining three, one, two, three, and putting a single crochet in that big space there. Then chain three again, and you'll be repeating the row. Again, you'll be doing three double crochets here and then on the other side of your chain. I'm just going to do this so I can show you how to finish this last row here of your repeat. 
you'll be putting your final three double crochets again in that chain three so you can count over one two three four do it in the fourth chain over or count three up one two three and you'll put three double crochets in that chain that's one two and three and that will complete your row five and to repeat the pattern over and over again you'll be following rows two through five and you'll be repeating those over and over and over again until you reach the desired size that you're after. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did uh, please click like and share this video. It helps me out so much. In the description box below you'll find a link to the graph and to the pattern with pictures if you want to check that out. Also uh, my social media links are down below if you haven't uh, joined my Facebook group called Crochet for the Masses yet and you like to share crochet patterns, uh, I mean free crochet pattern links or pictures of your own projects that you've made, uh, especially if you've made anything that I've, I've taught, I'd love to see it. Feel free to go there and share. So that's it. Thank you so very much for watching.